Hey everybody, welcome, welcome to our live. I am Heather and we are here for you guys each and every day, Monday through Thursday. We are here five times a day. I stopped on the times because the times are changing next week. And so um, we're here on five times a day on uh, Monday through Thursday and then twice on Friday. So let's put those times up those new times up and I need to take this little thing off real quick too. There we go. All right. Let's get all this together. Hello, Candy. Good to see you this morning. So the, uh, for the first one, I always like, you know, we're, we're bringing it home and we're starting the day. Um, obviously I need my brows on. Um, and so it's a great opportunity to go over brows and then, of course, go over the basics. Um, it's important for us to go over the basics because we know we have so many people that are interested in Luminous. They're like, what's this all about? I saw the infomercial. Does it really do what it says it's going to do? And yes, it does. And you actually these lives are so you can see it real time, ask your questions real time and get answers. So. It is a chat, so you can chat along with me. So let's go over real quick our starter kit. And this is one of our starter kits. This is the Icon. We also have the Icon Pro, which is the double speed. And so if you wanted to do body work or tanning or just want, I mean, want the two speed, that's perfect for you. And then we also have the Legend, but what's great is all these instructions that I'm giving you work across the board. And so uh, what I tell you for one, you can pretty much take to the bank and take do it for all of them. It does come with a bottle of love and blush. There are smaller bottles than the foundation because it might not be something you use every day or you're only using a couple of drops at a time. And then the foundation, we give you the two large bottles and they are different in color but that's so you can color match and you can practice. Think of this starter kit as your practice kit. We want you to get in there and get working with it. Even if you take a day and you mess up with it, that actually is going to teach you. Um, I think I tell the story a lot, but when I was learning to airbrush, I, ha I took some time and did everything wrong so I could see the difference, so I could see what happened. Instead of worrying about being so amazing at it, okay, what happens if I pull back? What happens if I get too close? And so you really can see that difference. And so you will learn, in this case, we we do learn from our mistakes, okay? So let's go over what to do when you're getting started. And oh, I'm gonna have to take those times off real quick. All right, there we go. So when you're getting started, we want you to do the following things. First thing is get it out and plug it in. It already comes put together. And so the more you have this in your hand, the more you're going to learn. But when you turn it on, there's air that comes out and it feels amazing. It's like a spa. It's just a nice little kiss of air. I don't know if you can see. Look, I mean, it's not even blowing my hair. It's just a nice little kiss of air and moving this around, feeling what it's gonna feel like on your face. I don't even have to pull back on the trigger yet. I'm just going to move it around, keeping it four finger widths away. That's practicing. And there is nothing scary about having that around your face. It feels amazing. And then you can start putting water in here and then start pulling back on the trigger. So when you're practicing with air and water, I mean, come on, that's fun. And so you can get used to it and get, um, that feeling of what it's going to feel like. Um, uh oh, I'm still on your, on, your, on your TV. Hello, Jacqueline, how are you? All right. Oh, thank you, Candy. All right. So now I'm going to brush up my eyebrows or what eyebrows I have. And I like to do this because if I have any long ones, uh, you know how there's always that eyebrow that like sticks straight out or, and I pretty much look at my eyebrows all the time, but I'll go in and just brush them out to make sure that I don't have any crazies. 
And then I'll take my duo eyebrow pencil, which I love. And I'm going to start with light strokes at the top. I always start at the top so I don't bring my eye down. I am going to fill it down here as well, but I think it's important to start at the top to bring it up and not down. All right. Go in this one. Just light, light. I mean, you, you can see how just bam, bam, bam. Very light. And then now I can go down here. And I have been making them a little thicker because that's what's in now, which takes some getting used to. <laughs> okay. And start this one down here. But when you're trying to make them thicker, make sure to make them thicker all the way. Like don't like make the tail a little thicker too. Because it might look funny if you go like thick and then a bitty tail. Like that. All right. Now I'm going to take my empty bully. And this is just a side note, guys. If you ever get in a bind and you have like flyaways, like I have a bunch of flyaways up here. You know what you can do with empty spoolies is do this. You can brush your hair down with this spray hairspray on it. And it gets rid of those little things. And you can also spray hairspray on that and do your eyebrows. Just a little side note. But the gel that is at the bottom, that is going to not only dye and tent your, or not dye, but tent your eyebrows. And it holds them in place. It holds them together it, where you don't get that crazy wandering eyebrow. All right. So now I'm going to take out and I'm a, I have my little itty bitty spoolie. And I'm going to brush that to make the hair like sh hair like strokes in the front. Oh, Amber, I'm so sorry, baby. I'm so sorry. There we go. All right, so eyebrows are done. And if you get them, um, I have a tendency, I think, to go a little too dark. And so if you do need to go in and and make them where um, you need to lighten them a little bit. Maybe you did get a little too dark. You can take a, a Q-tip and kind of brush them through or the empty spoolie and brush them through as well. Um, and then that way it, it will soften that without, it softens it without like removing streaks of it. Does that make sense? All right, so now let's get into how brushing. Oh, good. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm liking the, I'm like, I am, it takes me some getting used to, but, um, but yeah, I do like it. All right, so I'm now going to go in with love first, and I wanted to show you the difference between love and glow. We've been using, we used glow a lot yesterday, and so I'm going to shake this up. and show you the difference. So you can tell that glow with this one is a true highlighter. Love is more flush color. Um, and it does have, it gives you that lit from within look. So I'm going to put some drops of love 
And now I'm just feeling that air. It feels amazing. Oh, so, and then now I'm going to put my love on my cheeks, just kind of get it everywhere. And you can tell like right now it might with love, you know, when I do um, a luminizer or a shimmer or something like that, you can tell, like you can tell immediately what it is. Love might look like I'm a little bit shiny or that, I, you know, it's, it's very subtle. It's very, very subtle. It's just going, going to give you kind of a, a, lit from within look a healthy skin look right there all right can you tell the difference i should have done one side so you could tell the difference but now ready for this i still have a little bit of love in here but I'm going to go ahead and add my foundation. And now I'm using Mystic Shade Through Three, and that is one of our full, you know, medium to full coverage foundations. And I'm going to mix that together. Back, what we call, oh, can't even see it. Back bubbling, where the machine is on. I block it. Let me pop those bubbles. Block the air, and then lightly pull back and that mixes everything in there for me. So I don't have to get it, you know, don't have to get a little, boop, boop, boop. I don't have to do any of that. It mixes in there for me and makes it so easy. Now starting, and at this point, because I don't have, you know, I didn't do any of my pre-coverage, I can kind of start wherever I want but you do want to make sure to go and make your rounds on the whole face. Okay, that's one round. That's one pass. Now I'm going to look. Okay, where else do I need it? I'm going to need it on my eyes, underneath my eyes. Covering those dark circles on my lids. But with Mystic, which is a full coverage foundation, you're still seeing a little bit of that love pop through because I added it to, you know, added what was left to my foundation. All right, so I'm going to blow the rest of that out. And then adding a little drop of blush. I'll add two drops. One, two. And I'm using Plum, which is one of our deeper blushes. But the fact that I'm um, only adding a couple of drops, I'm not going to make a lot of passes. And so I can do it fairly light. Okay. Now, when I'm doing my blush, I will come in a little bit closer because I'm concentrating on just my cheeks. I start making my movements first. Do I have this where I want it? No, but I'm gonna switch to the other side to give that side a little break. And then switch again. I'm digging this. And there we go. All right. We used everything in your starter kit. Everything you get in your starter kit, we used. Is Are there different ways of doing that? Yes. There's definitely different ways but you can get a full look besides the eyebrows. You can get a full look with what you give, what we give you. What I would add now would be, um, 
Oh, oh. Is this gonna move? Yeah. My, oh, it went out of focus. Hold on, let me get it back in focus. There we go. So the only thing I would do now, I'm gonna add some lip jelly. And our lip jelly is amazing. It does give you, it gives you a little tingle. It's a lip jelly. It is a plumper. And it is so conditioning. It makes your lips feel amazing. And I would add mascara. And that's it. That's it. I would be good to go with what I have on right now. All right. Easy breezy. Lemon squeezy. Um, all right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. And hey, I'm going to be back. We will be back at 10 o'clock, 10 o o 10 o o o <laughs> We'll be back at 10 for our next live. So I hope you can join me. Hopefully, hopefully. All right. Thank you so much for waking up this morning and jumping in. And um, I will see you back here. All right. Bye for now, guys.